Meanwhile, dangerous new signs Iran's threat against the United States may be escalating. Israeli officials now say Iran is developing long-range missile capable, uh, missiles capable of traveling more than 6,000 miles and striking the United States. But right now, the U.S. military may lack the high-tech firepower supposedly needed to stop them. Let's uh, bring in our Pentagon correspondent, Barbara Starr. She's got new information. Barbara? Well, look, Wolf, the U.S. has plenty of co conventional firepower to go after Iran right now if it came to that. But they are looking at a suite of new advanced weapons here at the Pentagon. The question is, do they work? The potential that Iran could develop a nuclear weapon or shut down the Strait of Hormuz is a red line for the United States. I think when... Uh, we made it clear that that was not uh, acceptable. Uh, they kind of tempered their rhetoric. We've always made clear that, um, that in terms of, of any threats to the region, in terms of some of the behavior that they've conducted in the region, that we'll also be pre prepared to respond militarily if we have to. A military response that increasingly relies on a new generation of weapons, but those are weapons in trouble. A new fighter jet for Navy aircraft carriers in the Persian Gulf. A new warship for detecting undersea mines. And a massive Air Force bomb to pound Iran's underground nuclear facilities. All are facing technical problems. The F-35C is the Navy's newest stealth fighter. It can go in early, uh, you know, while Iranian air defenses are still functioning. It can help uh, defeat those air defenses. Uh, so that's, that's really the big benefit you get with the F-35. The problem? The hook to stop the plane as it lands on the carrier deck was so badly designed it didn't work. The Navy's new littoral combat ship is designed to find undersea mines. They're still relatively cheap, uh, so the possibility of Iran uh, deploying hundreds or maybe even thousands of mines uh, in the Strait of Hormuz uh, is, is a problem that uh, you'd have to solve. The Navy is developing a laser that could be fired from the ship's helicopters 30 feet down into the water to find the mines. The problem? The laser can't tell the difference between a mine and seaweed. The Air Force's 30,000-pound massive ordnance penetrator bomb is designed to attack underground targets like Iran's nuclear facilities. The problem here? It urgently needs an upgrade. Iran has dug deeper than the bomb can reach. One of the things that strikes me is uh, the Iranians know what we're building. Uh, and, and so the question is, are we going to be able to stay uh, far enough ahead of the threat that they pose? Now, these are weapons that are not being cut in the budget. They are already underway. The, the military hopes to be able to put them into operation. But first, they have to spend millions of dollars fixing them and hopefully get it all fixed before they need them. Wolf? Barbara, what's the Pentagon uh, doing about that missile that Iran may be developing, the one the Israelis are talking about, capable of going 6,000 miles, hitting the United States? Right. Well, you know, Iran has talked about this for years. This is the same kind of missile technology that North Korea has been working on. Uh, it is very, a very difficult proposition. Iran would have to have the advanced guidance technology and control technology to be able to send a missile that distance and be able to target it. Uh, certainly a matter of concern, but a sense that Iran would have a long way to go on that. Uh, the, uh, the nuclear question still presents a much uh, quicker problem for the U.S. Wolf. All right, Barbara, thank you.